everybody. I'm expecting that you were all going to have another drink or two before I got to my speech. <laughs> Alright, I'll go now. So, uh, my name is Eric and I'm with Howard. So, I've known him for seven or eight years now, I guess. And uh, we've, we've worked together, we've sung together, we've, uh, we've roomed together. So, I've gotten to know him fairly well now. And... Uh, as I was reflecting on what I was going to talk about in my toast, I realized that as far as my GPA was concerned, meeting Howard was one of the worst things that ever happened. To me. And I'll tell you why, because Howard, when he gets into things, he really goes for them. He's gung-ho. So, like, for example, with, with this Myers-Briggs stuff, where uh, I guess we've all taken the test. <laughs> And Howard, at the height of his Myers-Briggs uh, love affair, got the personalized license plate, I'm ENFP. <laughs> so, uh, and the problem is that I'm kind of the same way, so when Howard came to me halfway through the term, my second semester sophomore year, and said that he wanted to start this internet games company, I was all for it, and we just, we just took off, and we started going over to Athena and working on this website. We'd work for hours and hours and hours and work all night long. And in fact, uh, I'm a pretty late sleeper. And I think the only sunrise that I saw in college, I saw walking back from Athena with Howard. And uh, Athena, yeah, that's the, that's the computer cluster at MIT's. And uh, <clears throat> so, actually, I had a chance to think about that sunrise earlier today in this really beautiful moment, right after I'd slept through the brunch this morning. <laughs> right before Howard and ten of his buddies came in and dogpiled on me in the room. So it's really nice to think of that, by the way. <laughs> so actually, Howard, and I don't know if a lot of you know this, but he took a year off school and uh, he kept going with that company and he worked on it and that company got bought out by another company and that company bought by another company and at one point, Howard had stock in this company that was worth half a million dollars. And uh, yeah, it's worth a round of applause. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> so next time Howard comes to you with one of his crazy zany ideas like super traffic, that's the uh, <laughs> computerized pod car that's gonna drive us all around. You should, you should think about taking him up on that offer. I mean, that, well, that half a million figure, that was at the height of the golden age of the stock internet bubble. Oh, yeah, we It's worth yeah. a little bit less today. I mean, actually, Howard was telling me the other day that he spent the very last of that money when he supersized his extra value. <laughs> 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 Getting a little uh, off topic here, so let's get back to <laughs> the <laughs> couple that we came here to talk about today. Howard and Martin, and what a what a great couple they are! And uh, you know, I had a little speech laid out, and it's gonna well, it's that eternal question for the best man, which is, are you gonna be romantic or are you gonna be embarrassing? And so I decided to go kind of romantic. Yes. <laughs> And then last night at the uh, at the game, I was treated to about 30 of the most beautiful, tear-jerking, romantic toasts that I've ever heard in my life. And so I immediately went home and tore up my speech. <laughs> There's no way I could top that. So Margaret, I'm sorry. <laughs> And the story that Margaret doesn't want me to tell you is uh, one time, I think it was my junior year, and Margaret had been away in Europe for, I think, like six months, and six months for these guys is really a long time. I mean, this is the couple that celebrates phone anniversaries. <laughs> anniversary of the first time that you've talked on the phone. <laughs> and they, you know, they've got the whole hands anniversary and the first time I love you. They've got a lot. So for them to be a 
apart for that long a time is really just an eternity for them. And so Martin came back and I came home and I walked into my room and what do I walk in on but a little makeout session in between <laughs> the bride and the groom here. So I uh, immediately looked down at the door to see if there was a tie on it because in the fraternity the tie is like the do not disturb sign you get in the hotel room and there's nothing on the door so I kind of sheepishly left the room and closed it. And I wandered up to the roof deck where what should I find but three more people telling the exact same story that I know. <laughs> and that, that really, I mean, that really struck me because this guy, he was so happy to see Margaret come back that he couldn't break away from her for two seconds to walk three steps over to the door and put a tie on the door. <laughs> Barcelona in Spain, it was on spring break, and we'd spent half of spring break in Ibiza. This is a little island off the coast of Spain, and Ibiza is a crazy party area in the summertime, but during spring break, it's really a favorite spot for old guys that don't speak English. So we'd already wasted half of our spring break. We hadn't seen a single girl the entire time, so we bailed out on Ibiza, and we went over to Barcelona. And uh, we get to Barcelona, and we finally find a club, and we find three cute girls and they're on the dance floor. <laughs> Stand on the dance floor, and uh, Howard decides to be the... He's got to lead the charge. <laughs> and Howard, stand up for a minute. So Howard goes over to these girls, and we're so happy that we finally found some girls to even talk to. And he does something like this. Howard, Howard's going to do with me so you I thought about it and said, oh, we might, we might get married, well, maybe, I don't know, 15%? And he said, oh, I thought it'd be higher than that. And I said, well, what do you think are the chances that you and Margaret will get married? And he said, well, I don't know, I was thinking like 85%. And I think he, I think he kind of lowballed me, actually, because I was surprised by my 15. <laughs> and the thing about that number that struck me is that at the time, they weren't even dating. So. <laughs> very loving and just they're just beautiful people and uh, so if you would all raise your glasses Aww. and toast with me to this just perfect couple the Howard and Margaret. Oh, 